The Chargers are hitting their stride at the perfect time. The Chargers defense has been playing really well, even without Derwin James in the lineup, thanks to guys like Alohi Gilman and Jasir Taylor stepping up big time in his absence. But what I'm more interested in and what I think honestly is more important is Joe Lombardi's play calling. He's starting to mix it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Let me know if you have as well, but I'm going to show you in the film breakdown how he's starting to change up the play calling here, which is a good thing. But I also wanted to give a major, major shout out to this Chargers defense. And I couldn't just make this video without showing you a couple of, the, of their plays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about the sponsor of today's video while I show you some highlights of this defense. I started taking AG1 because like the Chargers, I need to get healthy. So I began mixing 250 milliliters of water with one scoop of AG1 in the morning after I work out. And I genuinely do feel as though I have more energy. And I'm curious to know actually if any of the Chargers players take it because it's recommended by professional athletes. And it's also cheaper than getting all of the different supplements yourself. I mean, it has 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and adaptogens. I love this stuff. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash LAFBYT. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash LAFBYT to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. And now, let's get into the film room. One thing that is absolutely integral to the Chargers offensive success are these play action passes where Justin Herbert gets in motion. You got to get him out in space like this. And you can see what he's supposed to do right here is read this linebacker who is going to come up right there. Boom. And Justin Herbert now sees Donald Parham. Welcome back, buddy. Getting healthy at the right time. He is wide open in the middle of the field. I don't know if this linebacker was trying to pass Donald Parham off to the safety, but you can see this safety has to respect Mike Williams out deep. So it's good play design. Justin Herbert reads it perfectly. As soon as it happens, ball gets out there. Boom. On the dot to Donald Parham. First down, cross midfield. But check this out because I couldn't show you this play without giving a special shout out to, guess who? Sandra Horvath right here, the fullback. Check him out, sealing off this backside edge. They do this a lot, the Chargers do this a lot. They run a play action to the opposite side, and then they have someone in motion acting as almost like a lead blocker for Justin Herbert. You can see Xander Horvath, like, be careful here, buddy. You can see he's just barely above that knee, kind of in that hip pocket there of that defender. Gives Justin Herbert enough space and time to make this throw cleanly, and then boom, right on the money to Donald Parham. So this one is second down. You can see it's man coverage for this Titans defense, and they only have one safety deep. This is just great. Great play design. We're going to see Keenan Allen go to the outside and then whoop, way down deep. And then we're going to see these two guys cross over the middle of the field. I'm going to start playing it so you can see how this works out. You can see it's like a pick play, double pick play. Uh-oh, Keenan Allen is wide open right here. Bang, right there. If Justin Herbert is not getting sacked already on this play, look at Keenan Allen, who is going to be making this catch at the pylon in the end zone. And you can see the man who is giving up the pressure. I'm sorry, Matt Filer immediately giving up the pressure. But the running back, I believe that's Josh Kelly on the play. It looks like Joshua Kelly could have at least chipped my man right there. Come on, give Matt Filer some help on that play. Because if you do, if you give Justin Herbert a bit more time and some space to step up in that pocket, right here, he's stepping up, sets his feet. Gets rid of that ball, Keenan Allen wide open. Justin Herbert, I know he has the anticipation and the arm talent to make that throw for a tutty. Another thing that you're going to see the Chargers do very often is run these curl routes. You can see Josh Palmer and Keenan Allen, I believe Mike Williams as well, all going to be running curl routes before the sticks. You can see it's about two yards. Oh, Keenan Allen's about three yards behind the sticks right here, but Justin Herbert lasers that thing in there. And that's a big pickup, but check this out. The reason why I'm highlighting this play is not because of the great throw by Justin Herbert on a tight window, but because of Trey Pipkins, Zion Johnson, and Corey Lindsley picking up this stunt. You can see number 98 is going all the way over here. He's diving towards that tackle side so that this man, number 99, can whoop, loop right around and get immediate pressure up the A-gap. But Corey Lindsley, keep those eyes up. And Trey Pipkins as well does a good job of passing his man off. And Corey Lindsley, keeping that head on a swivel, and you go get your man. Look at this. Matt Filer could have totally helped him out. He's just looking on this play. And then he gets right behind it. But anyways... 
Corey Lindsley with a great blitz pickup, or really it was just a stunt, great stunt pickup. And then that ball again, just lasered perfectly into that elbow. That again, that elbow that's towards the middle of the field away from the defender. So Keenan Allen is the only man that has a shot at catching that ball. Really good all around offensive play. Here we go. This is fourth and two. So you need to draw up a play that's going to get you a first down. You need at least two yards. We're going to have Keenan Allen run a little whip route right, right here. And you can see this Titans defense is showing a bunch of pressure. They got all these guys along the line of scrimmage. Mike Williams is going to go deep and out. Josh Palmer, just a little four or five yards and then out as well. And you can see Justin Herbert's first read. Great pickup by Austin Eckler on the blitz, by the way. Justin Herbert's first read is to Josh Palmer. He doesn't like what he sees for some reason. He also has a bunch of pressure in his face. Steps up a little bit in the pocket. You can see he's keeping his base set, ready to throw this football. And then he fits that thing in there to Keenan Allen. Just barely getting enough yardage for that first down. And then again, I got to highlight Austin Eckler, baby. Corey Lindsley picking up this blitzing linebacker so Austin Eckler can whip around and knock him out of the play. Beautiful block, giving your quarterback a bunch of time, putting that linebacker on his butt so Justin Herbert can convert the first down. I was one of the people that was telling everyone how good I thought Trey Pipkins was at the start of this season and in the preseason, and this play really shows how much the Chargers missed him at right tackle when guys like, uh, what was his name, Foster Sorrell or Foster Sorrell was in there. But check this out. Trey Pickens seals that edge with Zion Johnson as well. And then Donald Parham getting a beautiful block. Look at this hole. You could run through this hole to get two yards to get a touchdown because he's not even hit until he's well in the end zone. Joshua Kelly getting an easy touchdown right there. Check this out in real speed so you can appreciate the blocking masterclass that the Chargers O-line is putting on right there. So I already told you that Joe Lombardi was improving with play calls, and I've showed you some good play designs, but this one is just inexcusable, man. It's, it's awful. So check this out. Trey Pipkins just goes right here, not looking at this man on the edge of the line. Gerald Everett not blocking him either. Mike Williams is not going to block any of these guys. These guys are going to leak right in. Zion Johnson as well as a pulling guard to this side, and Gerald Everett is going to whip around, and Mike Williams... It's supposed to seal this guy off, and Keenan Allen is going to seal, I guess, this linebacker. And they want all of these defenders to bite on the fake run to Austin Eckler, but none of them do because, I mean, they can see he doesn't have the ball. This guy gives it away because he's not going for Austin Eckler, so all these guys know, okay, this ball's in Justin Herbert's hand. And I see DeAndre Carter, Carter in motion, and they're saying, hey, Mr. Carter... And they're just going and getting him way behind the line of scrimmage. Even if DeAndre breaks this tackle, man. Look, because you have this guy already beating Trey Pipkins. You have these two defenders and this defender coming. That is a four on three. I, it's just a bad play. And here's another one. So the Chargers do this all the time on third down. They're getting these receivers to run out and clear the field so Keenan Allen can get a little curl route right here. But check it out. He's right here. And this is the line to gain. So he's got to get to the 35-yard line. And you're giving your 30-year-old receiver the ball. Boom, right there at the 31 so that he can get to the 35 with these three defenders converging on him. No. Throw it past the sticks. Get something going. Get creative. This is what I want to see more of on third down. This is a third and short, like third and two or third and three, something like that. But we're just going to get verticals from all of these guys, except Gerald Everett on the crosser. Justin Herbert sees Keenan Allen. He's making this throw right now. So you can see that anticipation is there because he's an elite quarterback. That's why you throw it past the sticks. And this ball is so zippy to Keenan Allen right on his chest. He actually ends up bobbling this one and drops it, so it's incomplete, but I do like the play call. I like the process there, and also, I like what I see from Zion Johnson. Check him out. Booming that man to the side, and then this guy on a stunt goes to his face, keeps his head up. Talk about that head on swivel. Good play by Zion Johnson, giving his quarterback time. Dude, it's plays like this where I'm just like, Justin Herbert is insane, man. Check him out. He's getting blissed off this left side. The ball's going to DeAndre Carter. Little co route right there at the 40-yard line. He's getting rid of this ball as he's being hit, tackled around the waist as he's throwing this. And check out the zippiness again of this ball right to DeAndre Carter's chest at the 40-yard line. Where did he throw this ball from? Oh my gosh. This ball is thrown from like the 38 and a half yard line. 
so fast on a line to DeAndre Carter at the 40, the opposite 40. And check this out because I also wanted to highlight Austin Eckler on this blitz pickup. You have this linebacker coming and he just wrecks him. But if he kept his kept his head up, he could have passed that guy off to Matt Filer and picked up the DB on this play. But you know what? Justin Herbert, it allowed him to make a crazy throw as he's being hit. Wow. This is what we started seeing more of in these short yard situations. So this is like second and two or three. And you can see this ball is going to Mike Williams the entire way. It's just him running a route basically on this play action pass. Just going to the outside because of all this space that the Titans defender has given him. And you know what Joe Lombardi is saying right here? My quarterback, Justin Herbert, can get that ball over there from here to that sideline because of his ridiculous arm strength before the defender can get to the receiver after he crosses the line to gain. And that is exactly what happens. Look at how fast this play develops and, and just it's such an easy first down. You need to see more of this rather than passing the ball behind the line of scrimmage. It just works. Josh Palmer at the bottom of the screen going to run up and out. And this is just a great play by Justin Herbert. He's going to be under pressure here. This is first and 20, by the way, after a holding penalty. Check out the arm strength again to get this ball over the defender and to the sideline where Justin Her or, uh, Joshua Palmer is. It's just an amazing play that is just like, down to down, he's making these throws that are absurd that you don't even think about the amount of arm talent that it must take to make a throw like this. I mean, look, over the defender and so fast to the sideline, it, that is a lot of ground that ball is covering. This is one I want to see more of again. Okay, DeAndre Carter in motion, kind of like that play we saw last week in the end zone, but this time Mike Williams is just going to run up Try to take this defender out of the play. He's not going to run a pick play or anything like that. But the ball is going forwards to DeAndre Carter as he is in motion in stride. This ball, not a great ball and kind of a tough catch. But I like the process. Again, I like the play call on this one. It is better than what we've seen with the ball going, you know, way behind the line of scrimmage like right here like we saw last week with deandre carter he was like behind right here again another play call that i really like this one's going to keenan allen third and short what do you do you throw this ball past the line of scrimmage whoop keenan allen with a nice route run so much space created and again you see that ball is thrown keenan allen is already one two yards past the line of, or past the line to gain that is to get a first down gets a first down and gets some yak too I love the play call. This is what we need to see more of on those third and shorts. This is another would-be touchdown. So you can see number 98, the Titans defensive lineman standing up on this play. Causes some confusion for this O-line. You can see he's just going to run a little stunt move, go from here to this B-gap where Zion Johnson is. And you can see Zion is just kind of sucked into where that first defensive lineman is that he's trying to push him towards uh, the middle of the field where Corey Lindsley is. Joshua Kelly as well is drifting to this side. So nobody's going to be able to pick up big number 98. They're trailing on this play. And also Trey Pipkin's trailing on this play. Justin Herbert has to step up into the face of that man coming. And he, Justin Herbert, really wants to throw this ball to Mike Williams, dude, who has a step on this flat-footed defender. The safety can't get there because Justin Herbert's arm strength, that ball is going to get there before the defender does. He's trying so hard to make this throw right here. Again, he tries to make the throw, but then this guy's coming. He can't do it. So then again, he makes another man miss. And then he tries again to make the throw, tucks it back as he is getting hit and sacked behind the line of scrimmage so much happened right there you gotta help justin herbert out because look at mike williams just oh i love this play design again it's a fake play action and then you have justin herbert rolling out to his right side but then stopping immediately and so look at this defender there's so much going on in this backfield you had a fake run and now you have justin herbert rolling to the opposite side of the field so his eyes are back there and this is like a little pick play you can see this play is designed for that receiver to pick off that defender and he does it perfectly that's not a flag because that's just the way football goes you're gonna hit people sometimes on accident right keenan allen wide open justin herbert great pocket maneuverability great arm strength to get that ball in there perfectly down the field just a great throw check it out from the end zone view i'm just going to let it play it is so beautiful play design everything 
is just great, man. So good. I don't even understand this one, to be honest with you. This is that game winner, Justin Herbert, just going to be rolling out to his right immediately. Even though there's pressure coming off this right side, it is crazy that this works. This reminds me of that uh, game against the Saints where he had that crazy touchdown pass. But then Justin Herbert on the run dots up Mike Williams deep down the field on a beautiful throw. Check this out from the end zone view, and I'm going to play it in real time so we can all appreciate this greatness again. Justin Herbert rolling out. Give a little stiffy ball. Just right on the freaking money. And also the wherewithal to understand that this Titans defender is running towards the sideline. He has his head, head turned, so he's not going to be able to come back to that ball and stop his momentum, track the ball, and get an interception or bat it down. It is just really, really good by Justin Herbert and Mike Williams on this play to set up that game-winning field goal. So that's the tape, man, and we're seeing a lot more good play calls, in my opinion, from Joe Lombardi. Let me know if you guys have been seeing the same thing that I am, and I know you guys can at least appreciate the play design and how creative and how, how they're doing these things down the field, even though they're doing some of these dumb screen passes behind the line of scrimmage on these short yard situations. They're still doing that sometimes, but we can at least see the improvement, right? Thanks for watching until the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Chargers LAFB YouTube channel, and I will see you guys next time.